All right. Supriya Sule from the NCP is joining us right now. Till now, Supriya Sule has maintained that this is uh, bogus, these allegations, and it is not her voice. Supriya uh, Sule, Ms. Sule, appreciate you joining us. Uh, uh, Ms. Sule, India Today Fact Check team has used three publicly available tools to analyze these audio files that have been put out in public domain. Now, the first is True Media, founded by Oren Idzioni. Uh, the second is from the University of Buffalo. The third is the deep fake voice detector created by here. Now, it's noteworthy, Ms. Sule, that these tools' findings are not always accurate, so we have to give out that information. But sometimes also they give contradictory results. But with what we have also found out, Supriya Sule, it does seem that by using these three tools uh, that the audio samples seem to be AI generated. I totally agree with you and I'm grateful to you for check fact checking because I clearly said yesterday when it was first sent to me, the first reaction that I had was rush to cyber crime. The minute I got that uh, audio sound, I sent it immediately. I spoke to the police commissioner of Pune and I launched a complaint against cyber crime because I know that it is all completely fake and malicious. So it's not nice. I mean, I would say that I would defend anybody in my fraternity or any fraternity. This politics can't go down to such a level where we make nasty, fake allegations against each other. So I would even defend somebody from the office. I mean, who's opposing me because I believe in a fair system. It has to be fair and transparent. Hence, I reached out to the police and asked them to quickly file an FIR because this is fake. That's the first thing that I did. And second, after the BJP made the allegations, the fake allegations against me, I have sent a notice to them. It's a, I mean, they are defaming me, so I've sent them a defamation notice. And third point is you have to all, all of us have to realize, because I first was just sorting this up. Then when I asked the press, and the press covered that story extensively last, late last night, they said that the gentleman who is, making all these allegations himself has gone to jail for two years. So it's, it's strange that this kind of malicious filth has been thrown at Nana Patoleji and me and he also has filed a complaint. So we are both, I mean, we sent a defamation also to the BJP spokesman. But Ms. Sule, you know, we have to say because our open source investigating team, our OSINT team that used, uh, you know, publicly available AI tools to look at these uh, video clips, which seem to suggest that these audio samples are AI generated, Ms. Sule. But, you know, one has to say that the findings of these tools is not always correct and do at times give contradictory results. Yeah, but I don't know. I have not spoken. So why AI, you want to believe me or not believe me, I, that's up to you. But I know what I have done. I have not spoken to anybody. I don't know any such person. And I have myself always spoken against cryptocurrency and Bitcoin in Parliament. I have myself always spoken against it. Ms. Sule, the fact uh, these allegations came on the eve of polling, why do you think that happened then? See, I don't want to get into much language with the BJP because my politics is not dirty and filthy. My politics is very clean. It's above board. I never make dirty, false allegations against anybody. I am here for development and mm -hmm. serving the nation. And I am an honest Forward, I am a servant of this country. But Ms. Sule, you know, you do also know that it's not just the BJP. You have Mr. Rajit Pawar, your own family member, who's openly come out and said that this is your voice. He recognizes it, he says. But uh, look at what we are. I am telling you, I have not spoken. Rajit Pawar can say what he wants. It's a 
free democracy is free to say anything that he wants. Ms. Sule, before I let you go, I'm going to ask you one final question. How confident are you this election, ma'am? It's, uh, you know, the final half hour of polling. I'm so glad you have come to the thing that really matters, which is the Maharashtra election. I'm grateful that you are speaking because right now all these fake cases and malicious agenda doesn't matter. Right now, Maharashtra needs a clean, honest, hardworking, stable government which has to make sure that there is no unemployment, the price rise is a huge issue, huge inflation, it needs to be controlled, and the corruption, the corruption, unemployment, and the, in, the price rise is huge. We need to control inflation, we need to gener generate more employment for the people, and we need to take Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. Again, back to your side. Ms. Sule, you know, voting hour has uh, ended. So we are not looking at exit polls, uh, you know, this uh, election. But I'm asking you, do you have an exit poll number? What's your number, Ms. Sule, before no, we I let don't. you go? I, I don't know any number. But I have gratitude to the people of Maharashtra and every voter who has participated in this celebration of democracy. It's unfortunate that many, many incidents have happened, which were very, very unfortunate. In Parani, in Deed, there was violence. Several other parts, a lot of innocent people were beaten up, which is very, very unfortunate. And I hope the Election Commission takes cognizance of it. And there is always a fair and a just and a transparent election according to Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar's constitution where we uphold all our rights. All right, Ms. Sule, uh, good luck to both sides and may the best side win. Thank you for joining us and giving us your take. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. you joining us.